Hello, well, welcome to around the house with Kay and Tom. And then I want to show you this new Gourami air fryer we got. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I've heard it pronounced two or three different ways. But I've seen uh, so much about it and heard so much good stuff about it. I thought I'd get one and give it a try and see what it was like. And so let's get this thing out of the box and see what it'll do. And then we'll try to cook something in it. So let's get started with it. Okay, now you can see on the box here it says cut the calories, turn up the flavor, you know, so we'll see about that. Well, air fryers do do that, you know, so and it's got 12 one-touch cooking functions and it says and it's easy to clean up and you can see everything in between there. Now it looks like you get these two little racks to go in it, you know, so let's open it up and see, so... As you can see, I've never seen in this box either, so you know, we're both seeing it together at the same time. Oh boy, big fish stir foam. Here's some kind of book. We'll look at it later just to see what it is in there. Okay, now we'll have to set it in the floor and let it magically appear back up here. We'll be back. Okay, now everything's out of the box now, so let's look at it here. It's got a nice shiny, looks like metal top. It's got tape on the side here. Sure, it's probably got one on the other side, yep. Hold that door in during shipping. Now let's take this out. Alright, now you have this. Now this looks like it'll allow some good airflow there. But we'll see. Okay, and then you got to have this uh, rack here, a piece of cardboard. I like these little racks, they come in handy for a lot of different things, you know. So, can't okay, never have too many little racks like that. So now, th and this has got this little slot here to put your finger in and pick this thing up. Make sure it's cool before you do that. Now it looks like no matter how you put it in there, it just goes in any way. Or am I wrong? Yep, as usual. Okay, now this has got two little flat sides here. This one's a little flat, and this one's flat. And it's got a little flat indentures on the side here. Like this is flat. <laughs> That's flat, and same thing here over here on the other side. So. Come up with it like that. Go down like that. Now what I like about that, now I don't know how long it'll last, but it holds it in there. Now if you want to come up, if your food is done, you want to dump it out, you know. You just turn it upside down and dump it out. And this piece right here won't come out. You know, that's, that's a good thing. Well, it goes in nice and smooth. That's good. That's another good thing. So, so far we're doing good. Now I looked this up and it had, I checked the reviews on it, it had 4 out of 5 stars. So, you know, it can't be so bad if it's got 4 out of 5 stars. <laughs> Now this is another one of those products that they decided the best place to put to put their tag is right on the bottom. You know, so this is uh, model number GAF698 and it's 1500 watts. And so outside that, the only important thing it says besides that is made in China. <laughs> so, so anyway, let's get on to the next thing. Okay, now of course you get these warnings here. Now this is a in the information book. Now this is a six quart digital air fryer here, and this is 
telling you that they're there for you if you need any help. And this just warns you not to uh, put it on top of the stove. You know, you would think most people would know not to do that. And this is, I don't know what this is. Some kind of little information tag. I'll read it a later today. But this is the most important thing in the in the box for me outside the machine is this cookbook. Now, I love these cookbooks that they give in some of these machines. Look at those carrots. Now those carrots look great, don't they? <laughs> Simply roasted uh, carrots. And it's got all kinds of veggies recipes in here and and uh, I guess I'm in the veggie section. Oh, it's uh that's salmon right there. We come over here to lamb chops. Dumplings. Steak. I don't know what that's wrapped, uh, what, what that steak is wrapped around, but I'll bet you I'll find a way to cook that for long. But anyway, it's got a lot of recipes in here. I love this. You know, that's the only thing I hate about Instapot. No matter what you get from Instapot, you're not going to get a, a recipe book with it. You know, so anyway, that's that. Now let's plug it up and see how it works. By the way, if you need to know, it stands at 13 and a half inches tall. So if you have to know how high it needs to be to go under your camera, that's what it is, 13 and a half inches. Okay, now by the way, I washed the inside of this thing out so I'll probably, because I'm probably going to cook some fries or something in it in a minute. So I want it to be clean before I start to do it. So let's plug it up and see what it'll do. And it comes right on with all these different things on it. Okay, now over here it's got air fry and uh, so I, I, I only got close to that button with my thumb and it comes on. Which is okay because it says preheating. And uh, it's got fries over here. And it's got wings and bacon and uh, seafood and uh, vegetables. And over here on the other side, it's got other functions. You know, like uh, pr that's another preheat down there. So I'll go ahead and hit the preheat. And uh, got dehydrate. It's got broil. It's got wish I could read those little numbers. There was little letters. And bake and roast. So, I want to hit the start button and see what it says here. Well, I don't think that worked out exactly the way I wanted it to. So I'm going to turn off the power. Okay, now everything goes blank. I want to turn on the power. I'm going up here to where it says fries. 400 degrees for 15 minutes. <laughs> okay, I'm going to hit the uh, power button. And I'm going to do some fries. So hit the fry button. It says 400 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. Okay, that says it says preheat and turn here, so I guess you hit the preheat button, which is, so you hit the preheat button right here. Okay, now I've got some of these uh, Orata Extra Crispy Fast Food Fries here. These are good fries if you've never tried them, you're going to see if you can find some sometime. I get these at my Costco's, and it's uh, a six pound value bag. So I'm going to dump some down in this. Uh, Oh, I was dumping the ball down there. I didn't have any left in there, just a little bit. You know, so they're down in there, and that's about what you'd get from McDonald's, I guess. And so I'm going to put it in there, and I'm going to hit turn on the power. I'm going to hit fries. That's 400 degrees. And I think it says 15 minutes, yeah, and I'm going to hit start. Now, that's one of these things that's going to preheat itself, so we'll uh, see how long it takes to do that, and we'll be back. I'm timing it. Now, 
And I'll tell you what's the truth. When I used to say I'm probably never going to use one of these uh, automatic things again, but I know about how long I like to, t to cook my stuff like this. Like I know in other air fryers, when I put fries in there, I only like to cook them about 11 or 12 minutes. Unless you got a great big amount, you know. I mean, you have to take into consideration how much you put in there. But most of the time, like I put these in here, 11 or 12 minutes would be, if you leave them in there that long, it'll be burned up. So I won't never leave these in there that long. But especially with it going to be preheated like this, preheating it might be enough. I don't know. So we'll see when it uh, ever says to do something. So far, we've had it in there for uh, four minutes. It's been preheated for four minutes. Okay, there's a little smoke coming out right here, or steam or something. It could be from more of some of those crumbs, you know. I, I, I didn't realize that that bag was almost completely empty. Or I wouldn't have dumped, it, put, wouldn't have dumped it in there like that. Okay, now it says add food. So most time you have to open and shut the door before you can uh, for to carry on. That's just the new wearing off of it, I think, where the uh, where a little bit of smoke or steam is coming out. All right, now we'll let it go there for a couple of minutes and see what it looks like. Okay, now I think that steam and all where it's coming around sides like this, because it's about stopped now. I think that's just where I had washed it out and washed everything down, and so I don't think there'll be anything to be concerned about. Okay, now those little few french fries I put in there, they've been in there for uh, three minutes plus the five minutes that it was on preheat. And I think they're about done. I just grabbed a little glance of them. It looks like they're about done. I don't think I'm going to let them stay in there any longer. But that's about what I would expect, about eight to ten minutes on just that little amount. Yeah, so see, they're, they're getting nice and golden crispy. So that's all we're going to do is these. Right here. They sound crispy as they could be. Now he's cooled off a little bit. Let's see how they are. They just, as, yeah, see, they're just as crispy and down on the inside. They're still hot, hot, hot. <laughs> so, for just a snack, <clears throat> and this is about a, a medium pack, well, small. Maybe a small order of uh, McDonald's fries, you know, so you're looking at about eight minutes. And they're really, well, these are always really good anyway, these Oratas, extra crispy fast food fries. They are delicious, so you need to try them sometimes. But anyway, that's about all there is to it, and I'm sure you're going to be seeing a lot of chicken come in and out of this air fryer right here. This is, I hope I'm not butchering her name too bad, Gourmia. Uh, air fryer and this one is, happens to be the, the GAF 698 and this book has 30 recipes in it and all that good stuff and so thanks for watching my video and I hope you come back and see us real soon and I hope you enjoyed it and so till next time y'all have a real good safe day and if you can give us a thumbs up Thumbs up like that, you know, and join our channel. We sure would appreciate it. So until next time now, goodbye.